Hello everyone, I'm your host Adnan Rafiq. Thanks for tuning in. Um, in this today's video, we will look into another uh, data connector, which is, uh, I told you in my previous video, uh, OneDrive and SharePoint. And last time I covered um, Exchange Online and before that I covered Office 365. So if you wanna go back, go through them, understand the high level overview of Azure Sentinel, how these things there, connectors, workbook, and all that stuff. But uh, today, we look into the dashboard for OneDrive. So basically, data ingestion is free, which I've been saying in my previous video. So if you have a tenant and you want to ingest the data, data in Azure Sentinel, that's what you configure it. And then you come in here and be able to see what's going on in your tenant specific to OneDrive and SharePoint. So we'll look into that. So here is nothing, right? So don't have to worry about that. You can select, for example, um, 90 days to get more meaningful, more data, for example. And then you can see what the action has been performed. So let's take a look what's there. Uh, file views or previews, file accessed by user, file modified, uploaded in your tenant, downloaded, page views, search queries, um, list, sharings, um groups added maybe if you're deploying microsoft Teams, so uh, you would see a definitely high increased number of groups here uh site collections folder modified and all that stuff so these numbers are pretty low in my in tenant because it's a very small environment i have but again uh, this is a production one and uh, then uh, once i have that and uh, we put the data hold on so that's the activities here, I am able to see it. So that's what it looks like in my tenant in the last 90 days. Um, maybe just very low number, but you know, for environment like I have few users, five, six, it's nothing. Um, and then it shows um, my SharePoint libraries and sites, what kind of data, what kind of activity I have here. And here you go, one more, file operations. So you can see all the file operations, counts, file access, downloaded. If you have a mass download, so let's say in the 90 days, if it's 79 for me and tomorrow, day after tomorrow, if I come back, in the 90 days, it was just 79. If it happens to be, for example, a thousand files, for example, download. So that's not normal. And this is where I need to be careful. And this is where I wanna be, uh, taking some actions you know so that's you have to be creative and do customization on your own figure it out work on that accordingly same thing in the 90 days i have only 20 file 22 files deleted yeah if it happened to be 200 or let's say 2000 then i would be surprised and i'll have to take the action so basically that's the this is what you need to be doing uh, when you implement this uh, AI and machine learning and then you can create incidents and all that stuff so we'll look into that future videos how we can go from there today and the previous video just looking at okay what's there available what kind of a dashboard what kind of features and here it also give you a preview of uh, let's say my recorded videos uh, I did for exam for Azure I can see it here so it's showing me for all the users uh, all the um, the stuff you have here and um, yeah that's pretty much I have in this uh, specific to it um, let's see if I can do something else that's there if we go to specifically for example files downloaded or files deleted for example um, files deleted 22 files were deleted so we'll get the data where they are were deleted from which side exactly and these are the performance client ip it's showing you here and what kind of file is deleted it also showing this is pretty awesome and then nice even showing you the file names this is awesome perfect even yeah so that's so powerful even it's amazing uh let's do one more before we do that, it's about to uh, add it to group. See if I get uh, anything team related stuff or teams group, which I'm not sure. 
we'll find out yeah this is all the external user we have added to group okay so these are external user basically it looks like added to the group what i was expecting is something specific to but that's that's fine i mean as i said you know you can do it whatever you want in your tenant this is so huge it's a lot of stuff a lot of information available in this and you can take hours to digest but again you don't want to do that you want to automate it and so but again once you learn what's going on in your tenant and based on that you can start working on that and uh, go from there so i hope uh, that was uh, informational and then uh, you like this uh, video and if you do subscribe my channel and i will see you in my next video with some more interesting stuff thanks for watching bye